Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. In today's video guys, I'm going to show you the updated way of making chat notifications. Um, chat notifications is basically like your own custom notification or you know, you make your own text in the chat. An example of this is um, in Pet Simulator when somebody hatches a Titanic, there's a notification in the chat and that shows globally. That is what I'm talking about and I'm going to show you guys the updated way of doing that. But um, if you guys didn't know the previous way of doing this, uh, what you would do is, uh, this has to be a client script. So what you would have to do previously is get the starter GUI. And then basically you'd have to say starter GUI, set core, and I forgot what you put here. And then you'd put, you know, scrolling brackets, you'd put in your information. It would... You know, the, the new method is kind of like that, but it's a little bit different, and it uses text chat service. All right? And it, and it uh, as well uses text channels. So what I'm going to show you guys is a modular, modular way of doing this. Um, what that basically means is you can use the script multiple times, and you can pass in your own information. So let's get on into it. I'm going to start by making a module script and replicated storage. Don't mind all of this other stuff. That was from a previous video where I'd make a gun. So I'm going to toss this stuff in somewhere where I'm not going to see it for now. And so we have our module script. I'm going to name this something like chat notification. There you go. And I'm going to change this module to, again, chat notification. So copy that over. All right. Let me make sure you guys can see this. All right. First thing we're going to do is get our services so local text chat service uh get service you know it's like oh oops okay it's like everything else uh of getting services uh and then we're gonna say local channel channel is equal to text chat service wait for child text channels uh, wait for child RBX system. There we go. All right, so there we go. We got our text chat, text chat service. We got our channel. Now what we are gonna do is make a local function. All right, so we're gonna make a local function called system message, and this is gonna I'm just gonna, this is gonna be info uh, array. Yeah, just like that. Now, guys, what I'm about to put in here it, um, is really important you get right. These, This is basically making it make the details of it. So what I'm going to do, since this is really complex, and to save your guys' time, I'm going to put this in the description for you guys to copy and paste it. And what I'm talking about is this right here. So you press enter. It's a function. You have to put this right here. And that basically sets the font color, the font size, um the font uh or the text sorry font size the color the text and stuff like that the details of our notification so that will be uh first thing in the description copy that and put it in your script uh right here on line eight so there's our system message function now we're going to create the global function that we can call from multiple scripts so function chat noti notification dot new because I'm making a new uh, function or not function but new notification and in here I'm going to say text I'm going to use type checking to help stop errors so I'm going to put space colon space string color space uh, colon space color three and then uh, font which will be enum and just like that uh, there's your parameters all right guys so the next thing uh, we're gonna do is say channel colon display system message put two parentheses and in those parentheses press enter oh whoops and en enter so it goes down the line like this. 
Then what you're going to say is system message. Okay? Then, in these parentheses, put squirrely brackets and then press enter again. And then basically here is when we are sending the information uh, over. So we're going to say text, capital T, equals text, lowercase t, comma, enter down, font, equals font, and just copy what I have here. So color will be equal to color, colon, two hex, and then font size, I'm going to leave that at 17. Make sure that is in. Uh, like it's a uh, string so there we go now when we call this module script um, it'll it'll make the notification based on the information that we put in it all right so to make this work let's put a local script in starter player scripts then in your local script you're gonna say local chat notification equals require and then the location of the module script, which is game.replicateStorage with a child uh, chat notification. And I'm going to make it wait a little bit so we can see it appear. So task.wait, three seconds, I'll just say. I'm going to say chat notification dot new. Okay. And then we can put in our text. We can say uh, system system uh, player has this is just an example I don't really know what to put here player has hatched um, let me see let me say my name Stewie Fing has hatched a titanic cat I don't, I don't really know I'm just gonna say like the game there we go it's just simple like the game all right and then we put in our comma color three dot from RGB and I'm gonna pick out a color that would look good. Okay, so I decided on this 255 196 60 and then comma and we need our font. Um our font has to be in a string again, so for Doka one. Because that is my font that I'm gonna choose. And for Doka one, if you guys don't know. It's that cartoony looking, uh, um, you know, the cartoony font. So if I put a text label, uh, frame, oops, screen GUI, keep forgetting. So I'm going to show you what Fredoka 1 is. So here's our frame, here's our text label. And Fredoka 1 is this text. So let me make it so you guys can see it. Boom. And that is for Doka 1. Th it's this text. It's uh, the cartoony text that like Pet Simulator and stuff uses. But now, if we play the game, it should make your notification. Alright, so here we go. We're going, in the, going into the game. We see system like the game. Just like that, and it makes your notification. And every time you want to make a new notification, well, you uh, say to ch uh, chat notification not new. Make sure you get the module script first. And then put in all the information you want. And there you go. You have your uh, notification that pops up. Alright guys. If this video uh, did teach you something. You guys did learn something from this video. Or you guys just enjoyed it. Please hit the like button. and Or the subscribe button. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.